What is going on, Lunatics? We've got some interesting information available about Terraform Labs. Uh, they've made an announcement for a strategic sale. Um, interesting times abound, potentially. Also, this is the week that tax to gas gets implemented. We start to see what that looks like broadly in the ecosystem. Do the builders come back? Do we get an increase in everything? So uh, we don't know the answer to that yet, but we do know, by the way, somebody just randomly burned 150 million tokens just yesterday, and we don't know who it is. But congratulations goes out to Terra Casino, who just burned another million. Uh, remember, they're now number seven overall, uh, and we're going to talk about them in our blatant advertisement a little bit later on. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. Let's kick it off. So, uh, Terraform Labs announces a strategic sale amid Chapter 11 case. The important things for this. Key assets are up for sale. Uh, the assets that are available is Pulsar Portfolio Tracker. That's indexed over 100 blockchains and contains a proprietary indexing SDK. Uh, there's Station, which is the non-custodial hot wallet that was initially designed for the Cosmos ecosystem. Uh, Station has browser and mobile capabilities, been downloaded over 600,000 times. It's what I use uh, for Cosmos. So, And then Enterprise makes it easier for DAOs to organize, administer their treasury, spend via governance votes, and distribute their staking rewards. Another asset up for sale is Warp, an on-chain decentralized automation system that allows conditional execution of smart contracts probably a lot of this necessary in the lunk ecosystem but of course we're not going to pay for it that's you know doesn't make any sense we would actually develop and build it here so it's interesting to see how they're going to arrange for the sale of this but it does keep them in the news and it does show that they're finally doing the wind down now that wind down is going to leave luna adrift without an oar if you will as a community takeover they have encouraged um, uh, they, they've encouraged the community to take over Luna, that being the case. Uh, it would be interesting to see that as that winds down, do those Luna investors say, you know what, I'm going to get rid of my Luna. I'm going to get Lunk because it seems like it's the one with the actual ecosystem that people are building on, stuff like that. So we'll see how it shakes out. But this is potentially a very good sign. Also, uh, again, I told you this week is tax, uh, tax to gas. Uh, Prop 12115, so we should see that coming uh, very soon. Uh, they, they Earlier today, they required five weeks of research. Uh, looks like that five weeks is going to be up very, very soon. In the next two weeks, the team will work on tasks such as unit tests for the new module and implementation. Uh, so uh, this could be another big catalyst that would cause a, a giant surge in price action, if you will. Of course, it's still early. You don't know. It's, it's you know, uh, anytime you do this. It's a real gamble. Speaking of gambles, have you gone to Terra Casino? Because if you have, then you know. If you haven't, then you don't know. But you should know. Why don't you know? Because if you want to uh, do some real gaming experience here, wagering on sports, poker, uh, slots, Whatever it is that you choose is available for you right here, right now at terracasino.io. You can use your Lunk, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, Matic, USDC, USDT, and Dogecoin. So um, go check it out today. Remember, they just burned a million tokens. They're one of the top burners in the entire ecosystem here. And you could help them burn even faster by signing up today. There's a link in the description below. I said gamble. Haha. <laughs> All right. So, uh, USTC price up, by the way, a little bit right now. But let's look at what's going on, really. Release 3.1.0, the Oracle split. Now, what does this do is going to be the question that people are asking. The key change in this version is the introduction of the Oracle split logic, according to proposals 12098 and 12114. The logic will divert community pool rewards originating from the tax split to the Oracle pool and therefore slow down its depletion rate. Now, uh, what we have to do constantly is upgrade. The, we, we've got to keep tokens and coins coming into the Oracle pool uh, in order to pay people for whatever work gets done. And as we deplete that pool, it becomes more and more difficult. So there has to be some mechanism set up that will be able to do that. Now, it, it is entirely possible, by the way, that tax to gas handles that function and improves that function after this upgrade. Uh, so, you know, there's going to be a replenishment at some point. 
that will uh, uh, th that we'll see. And the upgrade instructions are going to come out pretty soon. But of course, this is going to be scheduled, I think, for a vote pretty soon uh, for deployment. So you should see that very soon. As far as price goes, this is the third straight day of green days, if you will. Uh, now, it, it's not robust. We're not having an explosive sort of move. As you guys see right here, uh, we did break down below the level. And look, I don't like being at this level. Uh, I, it, I think it's very imperative, uh, in all honesty, that we get back up into this range at 82. Now, why is that important? Well, it's a volume node. And... It, it, look, there's no there's no science or logic or reason to it in that short term period, except that this is a trend. And if you're using AI to trade, if you're paying attention to charts and you're looking at it the same way most people are looking at it, then you're seeing a breakdown of the price. You see a breakdown of the price, and now you've got to come up with a like, how do I fix this? This is a problem, right? And if you can't readily say, you know, I, I don't see any. You know, I don't see the, the pump continuing. I think we're breaking down instead of breaking back into the range. Then you sell, and that creates sell pressure. And then, because this range has now become an area where people are like, well, if it gets back here, I'm just going to sell, and I'm going to take my bag, and I'm going to dip. I mean, now you've got a resistance level. So it is imperative that we get back into this range and we need a catalyst at this point to get back into that range. So I'm going to be watching for something big to be happening at some point very, very soon. Those whales, they're looking for a reason. They're, they're just looking for a reason. So um, maybe, just maybe, we're going to end up giving them that reason. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but USTC having a little bit better of a time of it. Uh, you can see right here that, you know, this one, the trajectory still, I, and I told you guys this was the descending sort of channel here. Uh, maybe we get a nice little pump back up in this 23 range. That seems to be the resistance area. But, you know, again, we're going to, the, the volume node is right in this little range right here. Uh, but we're in, we've not even made it back to the real sort of resistance area at, at around two cents. Uh, so, I'm looking for a move here, but you know, again, I, until we get a catalyst for USTC, I don't really see a reason for it to pump other than manipulation. So, and I'll take manipulation, by the way. But you know, that's all I see. Uh, as far as the the rest of the, the broader market goes over here, uh, we've got Rakoff, we've got Terra. You know, I've got base tokens, stuff like that. There's uh, looks like Roddy, big move today compared to Lunk. Rakoff, a big move today compared to Lunk. So if you're arbitrage trading, then a you know, great opportunity here for you. Um, so, uh, no proposals up for governance of any sort. Uh, the burns, by the way, 150, 150 million burns just in a random wallet the other day. So now the last seven days, 545 million tokens have been burned. Good. And guys, you know, let's be honest. That's not a ton. It's not, you know, not huge amounts, uh, but it is significant amounts. So, uh, the other thing is when I, I come over here and I'm starting to really think this is a problem here. And you can see, by the way, uh, our circulating supply continues to dwindle here. We, we are coming down in the circulating supply. That's a, that's a, that's a great thing. But here's the problem. Problem is this total supply. That total supply is still uh, where we were in the beginning, we have to start burning off chain, not just sending to a burn wallet where it sits there, creating a fully diluted market cap that's separate from the market cap. Nothing is in circulation. Now, by the way, that is prohibitive and a problem for development on the blockchain. I do understand that because everything is out there and it's tradable and it's uh, available. But, um, you know, there's got to be some actual real burning off of the blockchain to increase value. And we've not seen that yet. So uh, to give you guys an example here, uh, the total supply creates a fully diluted market cap. The circulating supply creates the, the realized market cap, right? So everything's being traded right now is being traded based on this thing right here. However, those 6.7 trillion tokens are still being calculated into this fully diluted market cap, which means that the value of your token is still the same as it was before. On a Guys, I'm going to give you information that the veterans know, and that is staking. That's where you make a lot of cryptocurrency. And cryptonomy Dot Finance allows you to stake a lot of cryptocurrency and earn a spectacular yield off of it. And I'm going to show you what I mean right now. You guys know I've been a big fan of Ondo. All right, guys, so my APY on Ondo right now is I have 11,500 Ondo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the maximum amount in here. 
Uh, I'm going for six months. Again, like I think that the market is going to have a big rip that I want to get this back out. Actually, I'm going to go with nine months because that gives me up until March of next year. And guys, if you follow me, you know I like March of next year as a big moment in crypto. So I'm going to stake this 71.8% yield on the interest rate for this. I'm going to continue. I'm going to put this in here. All right, guys. I am now holding, and I am now staking uh, one thousand eleven. I'm sorry, eleven thousand five hundred ondo that'll be available to me on April sixth of twenty twenty five. And by that time, there will be seventy one percent more ondo. Now, will the price go up? I don't know. I, I don't know if the price is going to go up. However, uh, I will have more ondo in case the price goes down or whatever happens. That's what the benefits of staking are, guys. It is imperative upon you. Make sure that you're staking your crypto. Use cryptonomy.finance to stake your crypto, or you may end up regretting it. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. Check out cryptonomy.finance today. It's a sort of a percentage basis. So what we need to see is an actual reduction in the total supply. And that's what we're not seeing. So uh, that we're gonna need to see, uh, and by the way, just to give you an, an example here, if you were to uh, reduce that's 6.7 trillion here in total supply down to 5.4 uh, as the, the total supply and have the circulating and total supply match. Well, then the fully diluted market cap is still 483 million, which means that this market cap would be 483 million, which means that the price would go up 10%, 13%, something like that. So, you know, I, I, we need to burn off the chain. We need to, we need to get rid of some of this supply. But uh, volume, uh, volume up 20%, but it's very low volume. Uh, up 1% on market cap. Same thing over here. Volume down 32%, but the pump is up here 5%. So uh, it looks like the market makers are making the market, if you will. Now, as far as this goes, um, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, on on Twitter. Always is, but you know the, that 150 million long being incinerated. That is the big deal. Now, let's move on to Terraport Casino. Uh, Terraport Casino. <laughs> Terraport dot finance. And I am, so it, it looks like, I guess I got 106 tokens that I've gotten so far from Rocket. Now, for those of you that, that are, are looking here, uh, we've got this right here. I'm gonna claim these, by the way, because I just did a, a trade of $70 uh, on the ecosystem. So now I've earned another 500 points uh, and I'm holding about 7,000 uh, Terra tokens. So I have over 1,500 at this point. Um, and, and I think I earned, 106. I, I assume I earned 106 from yesterday. I've done the claim. I've done everything today. I've made a swap. I've done everything because I want to earn some of these rocket tokens. So I certainly want to um, uh, improve my bag, if you will. So if you are looking for the same thing, remember, come to terraport.finance slash launchpad and go get yourself some free rocket. You got to be holding 1500 Terra. Where do you go to do that? Go to trade over here uh, and and grab yourself a pairing and, and then just, just trade and buy yourself, get yourself some Terra so you have it. I mean, guys, look, it, you're always asking, how do I make money? This is a simple way to make money. You just, yeah, you got to have Terra in your wallet. You put Terra in your wallet, you can earn uh, some rocket tokens for that. Rocket, by the way, a uh, tower defense game coming to the Luna Classic blockchain. Uh, light paper for that is right here. Uh, Telegram for Rocket is right here. And the X account is right here as well. So uh, you can certainly go check this thing out. Uh, I'm super excited. Remember, I told you guys, I think yesterday, I'm a big fan of this kind of stuff. But what are we going to talk about today? We're going to move on from this one because Rocket is not the point of the day. The point of the day, however, is food token. Now, we've talked about food token, I think about twice before. And you can see here, uh, it, it takes the familiar logo of... Terra Luna Classic turns it into something of an apple, if you will, a, a green apple, and then it um, uh, gives you that kind of vibe that it that it matters as food. Now, the white paper there for you to browse if you are so inclined, it's at foodtoken.tech. And the purpose of this is to stay informed of everything related to our token and channel, that's Telegram. Uh, and then 1% of all transactions contribute to the funding of permaculture farms globally through Terra Farming. Then there's a Terra Farming game that they're working on right now, uh, facilitating in-game transaction economic activities. A another um, um, Farmville, something like that, Terra Farming. It'd be a pretty good thing. Uh, and then an NFT project associated with Food Token offers access to permaculture courses, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, the Terraforming Initiative is very simple. It's it's basically to teach and, and, and create situations in which with limited amounts of water, you can continue to uh, farm and 
feed yourselves. I mean, it's it's very important. It's it's good for the atmosphere, obviously. Um, a, a lot of the more plants you have, the more oxygen uh, permeates the atmosphere, et cetera, et cetera. But permaculture is what they're focused on. Uh, it's a holistic design approach that relies on observing and learning from nature to create sustainable systems that are regenerative, diversified, and self-sustaining by focusing on the ethical principles of the care of the earth, care for people, and fair distribution of surplus. Permaculture invites us to think uh, that about our interactions with the world in a more conscious and responsible way. Uh, permaculture is guided by a series of design principles, um, and these are observe and interact, capture and store energy, get a performance, apply self-regulation, accept feedback, use and value natural services and resource design from patterns to details, integrate instead of segregate, use small and slow solutions, value diversity, use edge and value the marginal, uh, and creatively use and respond to chain. So, uh, and there are some benefits to permaculture. You can, you know, go through this and you can, you know, kind of read through this and, and look, it's, you, you're able to feed your people. You're able to, uh, conserve soil and water. Um, biodiversity is important. Um, and you don't have to do imports. You don't have to import food from other places. It's really fascinatingly important. So if you are interested in the food token, by the way, uh, you can come over here to trade. And the food token is available to you right there on uh, Terraport.finance. So if you are in the market for or looking for an opportunity to help this ecosystem and to help farmers across the world or regions learn about permaculture uh, this is the place to do it. This is uh, trading at a low market cap with a low level of liquidity. Of course, we're not in the market yet where things are really going to start pumping, but we're going to get there to a point where things you know, really start to, to, to pump. So um, uh, this is just the start. So uh, get into this ecosystem. Certainly go check this stuff out. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, you can go to foodtoken.tech. And if you have any questions about Terraport, terraport.finance. Or if you want to do some risk-based gaming, Terra Casino at terracasino.io. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. Remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right.